everyone and hope you're well. Welcome to today's video. You all liked my smoky eye look in a previous video, so I thought I'd recreate it. I don't think I'm the, I'm the best at tutorials, but I can, I've done what I can. Um, it's a really easy smoky eye because I'm all about the ease. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, then carry on watching. So I'm first going to prep my eye with MAC um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Groundwork. This, I feel, just kind of gets me in the mood of the smoky eye, you know? So, this is gorgeous. It just gives you that lovely brown base. And I just kind of bring it all over and kind of up to about there. I'm going to soften out the edges using my Bobbi Brown greyish palette and this really chocolatey warm brown and I'm just gonna just keep it in the crease and kind of buff out the edge of it. Now I have to put the colour quite high because I've got hooded eyelids because otherwise you're not going to see any shadow. And just kind of buff out, you can use your finger just to buff out sort of the edge so it's not so obvious. Now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner. This is the one where it's got two sides. It's got um, two greys. I'm going to take the very dark grey. So it's almost like a black. And then I'm going to keep that on the base base line of the lash. So it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if it's not straight because we're going to blend it out. So I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm just going to buff that into the lash line. Make sure I'm not like covering my eye looking at it. Just going to buff that. Because you want the darkest bit to be at the root of the lashes. That's the aim of the game. So just keep buffing it into the lash line and buffing it up. So you're getting that kind of diffused look. And I like to use a small brush so I'm not going too high up but you just want to diffuse it as much as possible you end up with a thick line like that but that's fine so once you've blended that in i then go in with my smoky naked palette and this has got just the most beautiful colors in it and i like to use black market which is almost like a bluey gray um it's that shade there i just think it, it's just a nice shade because the the um gel is gray it's kind of going into the theme so go into black market and we're just going to pat over over and above that liner so you're getting a really nice it's such a beautiful color you're just patting that all over, getting a really nice amount of colour on there. Then I'm going to take the same brush I used for the um, Bobbi Brown, the brown shade, and just with what's left on it, I'm just going to, in fact, it's too scratchy this brush. I don't know what it is, it's a matte brush and it's so prickly. Bob off prickler. Right, I'm going to use my pout one because it's nice and soft and I'm just going to blend out. Now, the mistakes I've done in the past with a smoky eye is I've just brought it up too high. All you want to do is, hopefully am I close enough? All you want to do is diffuse the edges so it just kind of blends seamlessly. 
but you want the darkest bit to be at the bottom at your lash line. So I'm just diffusing and I'm trying not to go any higher than where I have, where the brown is. Just keeping that. And then you can then pack more of the dark colour again. So obviously you're patting, patting, patting. Get your dark colour again and then just re keep going re over it. Oh, can I even speak? You're just kind of blending out the edges, but adding and keeping the darkness. You want to keep the darkness on the bottom there of the eye, but you want the rest of it to look diffused. And when you look to the side, you can only see sort of brown, a light shade. So it's kind of, it's nice and diffused. Then I like to go over the top with um, Urban Decay. These are the moonshine thingies, diamond, this is Diamond Dog. I love this. And it just looks like that. And it's just a shiny, sheeny shadow. And this just adds a whole lot of sparkle. And I just put it on with my fingers. So I just put that on the top like that. Look at that. Oh my God. It's just, this just gives a whole other dimension to your eye, doesn't it? Gorgeous. I love that. You can't get enough of that. I love these. And then I take my brown, my Estee Lauder eyeliner and just tight line the upper lash line. Then obviously we're going to go in with mascara. Oh God, I'm going to do my mascara off camera because it's just so annoying. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation and in that video I was wearing Bare Minerals Matte and this is the shade Light Beige. My skin's already prepped as you can see this one's so shiny. I'm literally just going to buff that on. any which way. Don't worry about the where's the hows. I'm going to go in with concealer under the eyes and I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Custard. I've had this for ages and I quite like it with bare minerals because it's a lot thinner um i feel like i don't know and i think the color is quite good for on the face not really under the eyes but i kind of like it like this um, i'm just gonna just blend that in i'm gonna set my under eyes with my cat one d I'm going to take this, the yellow banana powder, banana -y sort of powder. I'm just going to set that under my eyes. Now, I think if you're doing smoky eyes, you're obviously going on a night out. So you're going to want to put something on that really stands out. You know, you've got to have the base flawless. I'm going to take that yellow powder and put it down my nose and forehead just to keep the center bright. Then I'm going to use this same palette to um, bronze and contour. So I'm going to just use that middle shade there, the light one. This is what I did in that video. So that's what I was wearing. So find the cheekbone. No, no, contour per se, I kind of just do like I would with a bronzer. And this is good if you're going for a night out and you want a really sort of sculpted look, then that is what I would do. Then that's, that's I'd use this. Okay, right, done. We need to do that under eye bit. So we haven't finished the eyes just yet. We put the mascara on, but we need to go under the eyes. Under the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown, that same shade that we use for the crease. And I'm just going to bring that underneath. I just think this makes a huge difference when you just have that soft brown right under.
use that pencil brush that I used to smudge out the uh, gel and I'm just gonna smudge whatever's left on there just underneath all around concentrating at the lash line like that then I want to take um, like a white shade like this for the inner corner this is in the Bobbi Brown one this is bone it's just like a matte white shade and I like to just put that just in the center corner there like so then I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes this is actually really good for bottom lash mascara I've got to say it, it puts this easy to get the bottom lashes for blush I mean, what is going on why is my I'm like I'm all over the shop with my hair good grief look at that for blush I'm gonna get go, uh, use Mac warm soul this just really helps warm up the skin especially if you've got you know you don't want to put too much too much stuff on so just keep the skin kind of warm I love that it's gorgeous isn't it Okay, then for lips, I'm going to go in with um, Lip Pencil by NYX, this is London, and I'm just going to line my lips. Then I'm going to go in with the shade um, Rock and Roll Nude 54, this is a Kate Moss Rimmel lipstick, really nice, just easy pink then I'm going to top it off with MAC cream sheen glass and this is in the shade boy bait this is probably the most beautiful nude on the planet oh god and there you have it quick easy I don't know about quick but easy smoky eye look nude lips, nude skin, it's just a nice change if you're going out for the evening and you want to zhuzh it up a bit. So there you have it, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you're well and I'll talk to you all soon, bye!